are you, based on what we saw of Michael Thomas today, are you confident? Will, will he do anything in mini camp? I, I, I think it probably still remains to be seen. Um, I, if he does anything, I wouldn't expect it to be a lot. Um, our focus is getting him ready for training camp, and uh, I think that's where myself, him. Uh, really our, our whole organization, that's really what our focus is, getting him ready to go for training camp. So I, I like where he's at. Do you, you feel like in camp that he'll be able to, to do everything that he needs to do? That's our hope and our expectation. So, um, you know, I, if I, I wish I had the crystal ball to say uh, exactly what he'll be ready to do, but I think all our energy is focused on, um, you know, getting him ready to go in training camp, and, and uh, we're excited about it. Um, Mike's an important you know, peace to our offense, and uh, when he's playing at the level that he's capable of playing at, uh, we're a much better offense. How much significance do you place on when a guy of his stature shows up and does whatever he can do in a voluntary situation like this? Is it? Yeah, look, uh, Mike's always been a, a, a great team guy, um, and uh, we kind of had this plan kind of mapped out where he was going to focus on his rehab. Um, He's got a lot of people that, that uh, he works with to help him uh, get himself right and, uh, and and get him hopefully ready to go in, in training camp. So um, it's great to have him back out here. Following up on that, what can he do for the team just to see a guy like that roll out the practice though? When he does it Well, I, look, I think I think everybody feels uh, that energy when, when he's here. Um, and so um, I, I think it's important for him to be here, and he wants to be here. and. Um, you know, he's excited about what we can potentially do this season. And yeah, Blake had a good inning to practice there. What, what you kind of say to him about that? He's kicking. Um, yeah, look, he's kicking the ball well. Um, and so I feel like we got, you know, two really good kickers. I think there's going to be some great competition throughout training camp. And um, uh, I'm excited to watch it play out. I, I know you kind of elaborated on it already, but when, when a guy like that, a, a, Player, how critical is he to, to what you're trying to do this year? Um, well, I think he's a, I think he's a big part of it. I, you know, I think I've said, you know, on multiple occasions that we missed his ability to make the contested catch, uh, those third and short, third and mediums down there in the red area. I mean, that's a guy that keeps drives alive. It's a guy that uh, scores touchdowns. So uh, having him healthy, I think, is a is a big part of. You know, hopefully our success. How much have you already seen the communication between Derek Carr and the wide receivers progress? In these I think it's been awesome. I, I think it's been great to see. I think Derek's done a really good job, and I think our our receivers have done a, a heck of a job. And and so, you know, he kind of raises the expectation of what um, you know those guys have to be able to do. And there's a certain position that he wants them to be in, and a certain way that he wants them to run the routes. And uh, I think our guys have worked. Uh, really well together to try to, uh, you know, build that chemistry. Is he progressing quicker maybe than you expected? Um, With the bonding. Well, look, I, I, it's still a process. You know, we're not where we need to be. Um, I like the direction that we're headed, but um, there's still a lot of things that we have to have to work on. A lot of things that we have to improve on, and and, and fortunately for us, we got some time to get there. Dennis, I saw Brian Brzee got some first team snaps. Can can you? Tell anything on his project. Uh, uh, contact drills this week. Yeah, look, I mean, here's what you know. You know that that he's obviously a, a big physical talent. Um, he's got some some suddenness and some quickness inside that maybe we haven't had in the last few years. We've had a lot of good power players, um, but he, he he has a little bit of an element of uh, you know quick twitch that that uh, I think we can utilize. And what about Peyton Turner? Is there anything you can tell from? Season that, that uh, look again with a lot of these guys, um, you know they're out here every day and they're working uh, and they're continuing to get better. And Peyton's no different than any of the other guys. And I think really for all of this, I don't think this is about trying to make a final evaluation on anything. This is just how am I getting better each day that I come out here. And uh, um, I think all of our guys are working to do that. What's the biggest thing he needed? Health, well, I, I think that's number one. It's really hard to make an assessment uh, because he hasn't been available enough. And, and so he certainly has the talent. Um, 
you know, and so it's really about being out here and being able to be available every day. And yeah, when y'all went back and looked at the film from last year and like creating turnovers, was there anything in particular that you all could pinpoint on why that was an issue? No, look, I think I think there's you know a lot of factors that go involved in that. Um, you know, one, I think we have to make more of an emphasis on attacking the football um, and, and have more awareness of how we can, you know, take the ball away. I think that's that's, that's a big part of it. And look. A lot of takeaways come when you get out to good leads, you're able to kind of rush the passer um, and, and create a little bit more havoc in terms of the quarterback, force them to make some bad decisions, and then you got to be able to take advantage of it when, when they do. So um, more bad things can happen when teams are having to throw the ball against you uh, than if they're able to just line up and try to run it. Yeah, you guys are running going into the sixth year now, what's your expectations for Trey Kwan Smith? It seemed like playing out there a lot of emotion of look I think Traquan's another one of those guys that that you know over the last couple of years man he's 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 had to do a lot of the dirty work um, and I don't know that he has been at full health for the last couple of years I think he's healthy right now um, and so I see him being a being a you know valuable piece of what we're trying to get accomplished and and uh, look I think there's going to be some good competition in that receiver room you guys are one of the four teams that could be forced on the hard knocks. How would you just feel about that if, if it was the same? I wouldn't like it. Yeah. Why not? Because I, I just want to focus on our football team and getting better. And any distractions are exactly that. They're just distractions that keep you from ultimately reaching your goal. Last year, you weren't very good in the fourth quarter scoring points. One of, one of the lowest in the league. Um, does the quarterback automatically fix that, or some other things? Maybe is that one of the reasons? Well, no, why I look. Kendra signed Jamal to be better in, inside. The I think there's, I think there's a lot of factors that go that go into that. That's not a one position. You you, you solve the one position, you feel like okay, now all, all our problems go away. I mean, um, you know, offensively, we got to execute better in, in those in those situations. And so, um, look, I don't. I'm not looking at Derek as a savior. I think he's a valuable piece to what we're doing, um, and I think he's going to help us be better. Uh, but there's there's a lot of pieces to that puzzle. Is, is power running game in the red zone? Big people who can who can who can stick it in there. Is that kind of one of the things that you thought that you needed to acquire? Well, we we certainly feel like um, you know adding the big back um, is something that we. We, we really haven't had the last couple of years. Um, and again, look, anytime we can take some of those um, hits off of Alvin, um, I think is going gonna, is gonna to help us. And so the more depth that you can build, um, I think the better you're going to be. Dennis, you had some one-on-one -on -one time with Alonzo Taylor. and you said OT is just for evaluation. It's not a finished product. But how have you seen him progress kind of in that slot role and become more versatile? Yeah, I think it's a learning process for him. You know, um, look, I think certainly over the course of this this OTA period, there's been some 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 really good things. There's been some periods of of some frustration just because it's new to him. You know, uh, but the more you can do, the more spots that you can play, uh, the more versatile you are, the the more ways that we can envision being able to, to utilize those players. And so, um, you know, at the end of the day. We're going to have to figure out what's our best 11 to put out there on the field, and, and how do we how do we deploy those 11 that give us the best chance to play good on offense or defense? I noticed too, Paul Snedeva wasn't out there today. Was there a reason for that? No. When, uh, when you guys get everybody back, will Taysom still be in the tight end room? Or? Yeah. 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 Nothing's going to change for for his role as we see it right now. Yeah, how have you felt about the progress of Demarco Jackson after missing last year? Yeah, I think it's been I think it's been uh, encouraging. You know. Um, He's still learning every single day, so there's still some um, young player mistakes. Uh, but I see a more confident player now than where we were at this time last year. Do you feel like he's a little bit more, I mean, it looks like he's playing more of an off-ball role than an on-ball role. Is that the, the vision? Yeah, that would be accurate. He's, he's, he's really been focused in on the, on the mic position. Um, and look, he's done a nice job of managing the huddle. I mean, that's part of the whole deal is being able to get the calls and be able to get everybody lined up and and uh, so we can all execute.